What's good everybody, it's your boy Eddie here and welcome back to the channel and I hope you all are having a wonderful day. After today's video, we are actually reviewing something that I've never reviewed on the channel before and with this particular brand, I've worn it before about seven years ago and I haven't since, which is actually a shame because in the recent years, it's actually had a big resurgence, a lot of major collaborations and literally everybody in NYC is wearing this sneaker. So before we even continue guys, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below as well as that notification bell. And what we got right here is none other than the Hidden NY and A6 Gel NYC sneaker collaboration. And guys, I have to say based off of first impressions, I completely love the details, colorway, and silhouette of this sneaker. I've literally seen a lot of reviews about the silhouette. I've seen a lot of people in the streets with the silhouette. Not this specific colorway because it hasn't officially come out and had that general release yet. But I do love what the sneaker has going on. And it actually is a culmination of different brands coming together as well as old silhouettes coming together and just being reimagined onto this sneaker. And with that being said, guys, let's just briefly go over the box details. And I really love this box. It is actually pretty simple because it's all white. However, there's a lot of hidden, no pun intended, details on it. So when we actually look at this print on the box, you can see that it's a mouse detail. And right above that, we do have an A6 and hidden logo right there. Then we go into the back of the box right here. You can see that we do have that H logo, which stands for hidden. Then we go into this side of the box. There's nothing really to report right there other than some numbers. I don't necessarily know what that means. And then finally, when we go into this side of the box, we do have the sticker tag. And it does read off as gel NYC and the colorway shown is white and jolly green. And I did go with my true to size of a size eight with this sneaker. However, I do have to say it does fit a little bit snug. The size eight fits perfect for me, but for my guys who are a little bit more wide footed, I would recommend to go a half size up. So if you are narrow footed, I would definitely say go true to size. If you are semi wide footed, you can get away with true to size, but I would recommend to go in store and try on a GR pair of these gel NYCs in order to make sure you like that true to size fit. But to be safe, if you're semi wide to wide footed, definitely go a half size up and you should have no problems there. Now when opening this box, look guys, you can see that we do have this hidden ASX detail right there and just actually placed into the aesthetics of the hidden brand. And it also has this checker detail right here, which is pretty nice. And one more thing to note is the fact that we do have this white wax tissue paper, which is pretty standard to all of the sneakers that we get nowadays. So there's nothing to report else on that. But now when focusing onto the history of the gel NYC, I do want to detail all of the silhouettes that actually made this culmination. So it is a mix of the gel Nimbus 3, the gel MC plus 5, the gel cumulus 16 and then of course it does have a lot of gel technology all over the shoe which we'll get into later into the details of the video something else to mention about the history of hidden and why is the fact that it was created around 2018 and the creator himself of the brand who goes by the name hidden there are no pictures of him there's no faces of him nothing you can't find him at all anywhere on the internet however he did have some big connections so he actually did a brief stint of personal shopping for drake himself which is a pretty amazing thing to even accomplish and to have drake number and talk to him and shop for him and all that type of stuff i think that's actually pretty fire also if you guys are familiar with the hidden and white brand it didn't start off as a brand necessarily it was more of a streetwear fashion type of blog internet post kind of thing the brand itself is a mix of many things so i would just pinpoint it as blogging streetwear fashion and it also sells its own apparel so that's the way i'm going to break it down because again it did not start off as all of those things at once it grew into that which is very nice to know and just shows how much the brand has grown in the past six years so something else i want to mention about the history of the sneaker is the fact that it relatively is a brand new sneaker and originally debuted back in january of 2023 by angelo baquet and if that name sounds familiar to you he is the owner of awake ny and obviously as i did my review on the awake ny airships i mentioned his name and kind of the whole history about his brand so that's actually pretty cool to note that he was the one who designed the sneaker and took inspirations from previous silhouettes and created this all new amazing looking a6 gel nyc sneaker so with that being said guys that's pretty much going to conclude all the history of the sneaker now now i'm focusing on the details of the sneaker you can see that we do have this white mesh toe box right here and then followed by that we do have this metallic silver paneling that overlays on the mudguard area as well as being surrounded by the synthetic leather is what i'm going to assume this material is on the toe cap area and it does go a little bit all over the shoe but i just wanted to focus directly on here and we're going towards the top of the shoe now you can see that we do have this 3m detail right here and then following that we do have several eyeless that goes all the way to the top of 
of the shoe. Then when moving towards the top of the tongue now, you can see that we are greeted with some white mesh detailings. However, there are also some green and silver metallic synthetic details on the shoe as well. And then when going towards the top of the tongue now, you can see that we do have that very nice lowercase H logo, which stands for the hidden NY. And I think that's a very nice touch. Now when going on to the lateral side of the shoe now, you can see that we are greeted with the A6 logo. However, it does have some green plastic panels, but the white details on the A6 logo is actually in this digitized pattern, and I think that looks absolutely awesome. Then when we go into the underlays under the A6 logo, we do have some more of that silver metallic details, which I think looks really nice on the shoe. And then we have the screen printed A6 logo, which looks pretty nice. Then when going into the back heel area of the shoe now, you can see that we do have this empty checkerboard detail, which looks pretty nice on the shoe. And then we have this pull tab right here, but what's really nice is the fact that not only is it 3M, but it does have the big bold hidden logo as well as the lowercase h is all over it. So it's kind of holographic depending on which angle you put it on. I don't think the camera is going to catch that, but it's a very nice touch and very hidden and low key. Now when going on to the medial side of the shoe, the same thing pretty much follows with the lateral side. Now when focusing onto the midsole of the shoe, as I mentioned earlier, this sneaker is inspired by some modern but also retro performance sneakers that were made by ASICs from the past 25 years, I want to say. And something else to note is the fact that it does have a lot of the gel technology that ASICs definitely loves to talk about and promotes and is their proprietary technology. Not only does this gel technology feel good on your heel and forefoot, but also feeling it to the touch feels absolutely awesome. And down focusing onto the outsole of the shoe, now you can see that we do have this beautiful traction pattern right here. And then it actually has some gel details right there. And it does say this is the guidance line and it goes right directly into the center of the shoe, which is a pretty nice touch. Guys, before I conclude this review, I do wanna give you a couple of more hidden details that you may not normally see. So when looking at the laces, we do have it in this all white colorway, but it does have silver tips at the end and then it does come with an extra pair of laces in this silver colorway and i have to say they actually look really nice and i do believe based on the look of them they do have a 3m detail on it which i think is pretty fire i would definitely make this shoe pop a lot with these laces on it also something else to mention about the sneakers that we do have inverted logos on the tongues the lateral sides of the shoe as well as the insoles of it so when we actually look at this logo right here as i mentioned before it does have that hidden logo but then when we actually look onto this side it does have the a6 logo then when focusing onto the logos of the lateral side you can see that on the left pair it does have that lowercase h logo which looks pretty nice and then on the right pair as you guys saw before it does have that a6 logo then one more thing to mention about the logos is that when you go onto the insoles of it one has this a6 logo right here which is pretty tough and then when we go into the left shoe it does have that hidden logo which i truly enjoy and it just fits this shoe completely it has that kind of blog era detail and I actually enjoy it a lot. And then one more thing that I want to mention about the hidden details on this sneaker is the fact that when you look at the heels of them, they are completely different. So on one side, you do have this ASICS gel logo right here. And then on the other side, we do have this hidden checkerboard detail, which is very simple, but I do love how it looks on the sneaker. Something else to mention about this blank heel area with the checkerboard detail on it is the fact that it does have 3M on it, so it will make the shoe pop even more. And I think that that is absolutely an amazing touch for this sneaker. And with that being said, guys, that's pretty much gonna conclude all the history as well as the details of the shoe. So now, let's get right to this on for look, all right? So that's going to conclude the review as well as the on for look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for y'all. Definitely let me know what you think about the hidden and why an A6 gel NYC sneaker collaboration in the comment section down below. Are you guys rocking with it? Do you think that it's a copper drop? Personally, in my opinion, I think that this sneaker is super fire, but I want to hear y'all thoughts in the comment section down below. So other than that, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family and all that. And I'll catch y'all in the next video, guys. Peace.